Hi, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will learn about simple understanding of metamorphic phases. For more geology content and for more video updates, please subscribe our channel and click the bell icon. First, let's understand what is metamorphism. Metamorphism is a geological process that changes the mineralogical chemical composition as well as the structure of rocks and minerals. The factors that influence metamorphism are temperature, pressure and chemical processes. As we go down deep to the earth's surface, there will be an increasing of temperature and pressure conditions. And chemically active fluids were responsible for creating chemical processes. Here are some examples of metamorphic rocks. Clay undergo metamorphism into cyst, limestone into marble, sandstone into quartzite, shale into slate, basalt into granulite, granite into gneisses. Here are some pictures of metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic phases was first developed by Scola in 1914. Metamorphic phases is a set of metamorphic mineral assemblages formed under similar pressure and temperature conditions. Specific temperature and pressures will be distinguished by characteristic mineral assemblages. The main use of understanding metamorphic phases is we can clearly know what set of minerals and mineral assemblages were formed under certain pressure and temperature conditions. Here is the list of major phases that are granted by IUGS International Union of Geological Sciences. Here is a picture of phases diagram on the basis of pressure and temperature conditions. Let's know about geolite phases. Geolite phases is originally metamorphosed phases. In this phases, the original rock is immature and metamorphosed under high geothermal gradient in the pressure of fluids. These are mainly seen in hydrothermal metamorphism. Common minerals of these phases are chlorite, muscovite, lomantite, analysim and hulandite. It occurs at the temperature of 100 degrees Celsius to 200 degrees Celsius. It occurs at the pressure of 2 to 6 kilobar and occurs at the depth of 10 to 20 kilometer. The highlighted area is geolite phases. Let's know about Greensitz phases. It is developed by metamorphism of calcium rich rocks and metabazols. These belong to isograde metamorphism. Common minerals of Greensitz phases are epidote, actinolite and chloride. It occurs at the temperature of 300 degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Celsius. It occurs at the pressure of 2 to 10 kilobar and at the depth of 10 to 30 kilometer. Prinite and pumpolite phases. The phases forms along with geolite phases. Commonly these are occurred as secondary fillings in original vesicular rock types. These are also formed under hydrothermal metamorphism. Common minerals are prinite, pumpolite, temperature. It occurs at 200 degrees Celsius to 300 degrees Celsius. It occurs at the pressure of 4 to 7 kilobar and occurs at the depth of 10 to 20 kilometer. Bluesis phases. This is also known as glucophane phases. The rocks in these phases are formed mostly by metamorphism of basalts. Blue color predominant minerals are formed in these phases with low temperature and high pressures. Some common minerals are glucophane, lawsonite or epidote. It occurs at the temperature of 200 degrees Celsius to 500 degrees Celsius. It occurs at the pressure of 7 to 13 kilobar and occurs at the depth of 15 to 30 kilometers. Hornfeld phases. Hornfeld phases is mostly formed due to contact metamorphism around igneous intrusions. Hornfeld phases are largely dependent upon the parent rock composition. Hornfeld phases are again classified into albite epidote series, Hornland Hornfeld series, Pyroxene Hornfeld series depending upon their common mineral occurrences. It occurs at the temperature of 250 degrees Celsius to 750 degrees Celsius. It occurs at the temperature of 0 to 4 kilobar and occurs at the depth of less than 10 kilometers. Amphibolite phases. Amphibolite phases are generally occurred in moderate to high grade metamorphism. Amphibolite rocks are well distributed in orogenic belts, mostly at deeper parts of the folded mountains. Some common minerals are kinite, plagioclase, garnet, and epidote. It occurs at the temperature of 400 degrees Celsius to 750 degrees Celsius. It occurs at the pressure of 3 to 10 kilobar and occurs at the depth of 10 to 20 kilometers. Granulate phases. The rocks under these phases were formed under intense temperature and pressure conditions. These phases are formed under regional metamorphism. Some common minerals are pyroxene, biotite, garnet, quartz or olivine. It occurs at the temperature of 700 degrees Celsius to 800 degrees Celsius. It occurs at the pressure of 2 to 11 kilobar and occurs at the depth of 10 to 30 kilometers. Sandinite phases. The classification of metamorphic rocks are formed due to intense conditions of contact metamorphism. Temperatures are very high, approaching the melting point of rock with apparently low pressure conditions. Volatiles such as carbon dioxide and waters were expelled from the rock during the mineral forming reactions. Some of the common minerals are sanidine, corandum, corydite, and silimonite. It occurs at the temperature of 800 degrees Celsius to 1000 degrees Celsius and at the pressure of 0 to 2 kilobar and occurs at a depth very less than 10 kilometers. 
Eclogate phases. These phases is determined as phases which highest pressure and temperature conditions. The rocks under these phases were recognized with basaltic composition. These, these are feldspar free assemblages. These phases are characterized by lower crust to upper mantle. Some common minerals are kyanite, rutile, quartz, garnet, omphacite, pyroxene, and diamond bearing xenolith kimberlite pipes were also were formed in eclogate phases, and many precious minerals were formed in these phases. It occurs at the temperature of 200 degrees Celsius to 900 degrees Celsius, and the pressure of 11 to 4 kilobar and at the depth of 30 to 40 kilometers. You can note down the phases and mineral assemblages of all geolite phases to granulite phases. The temperature pressure implications of various phases are very important because the boundaries between metamorphic rocks. Phases represent temperature present in which some key minerals in mafic rocks are either introduced or lost. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe. Also do comment the topics which you wanted to know. We will make a video on it. Thank you.